Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another discussion of the anime that came out this season of summer 2021. Today, it's probably going to be a short one since we're talking about the second season of Marimashita Irmakun or Welcome to Demon School Irmakun. Uh, so this is, like I said, the second season, which means uh, not a lot really changes between the first and the second season. It's more of the same, more or less. And, uh, well, if you enjoy the first season, you'll definitely enjoy the second season. Not a, not a whole lot to talk on about it. Let me actually switch. <laughs> ah, not that. <laughs> ah, wrong scene. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so, it's the second season. There's not much to talk about when it comes to that. Uh, in fact, I could just end the video here saying, hey, it's more of the same. It's pretty good. Uh, however, I will go a little bit further, saying that this season... Compared to the last one, which was a lot of just kind of random stuff happening, season two really sort of moved the plot along. There was a lot more serious stuff going on, a lot more uh, information being given about various characters and the relationships of all the uh, students and the main characters uh, were all uh, sort of, we got tightly knit. So I should say they got the game closer and all that stuff, including a couple of them that I'm very pleased to uh, have get close together, <clears throat> in my personal opinion. But that's pretty much all. I mean, it's, it's your typical like it's it's like one of those uh, slice of life kind of comedy shows where you know they just kind of do you know stuff without the plot for the most part. Like they just kind of do interesting or cool like antics and stuff like that, like going to water parks or, you know, studying in school, doing some crazy demon stuff. But meanwhile, Irma tries to hide his abilities, uh, or not his abilities, his, uh, his being as a human, uh, <laughs> since he's in a demon school being the only human and whatnot, he keeps trying to hide it. Um, but no one catches on, of course. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what the show is. Uh, it definitely set up for a third season, and I will definitely watch the third season whenever it comes out, because even though this was a show that I was like, eh, I'm bored, I'll watch it, when I first started watching the first season, um, it was pretty great, and I was like, ah, oh, this is actually interesting, I thought it was going to be like a, a weird, like, gimmicky, like, uh, classic, like, 90s, weird sort of, you know, uh, anime kind of thing. And uh, no, it turned out it was actually pretty great. It was pretty decent. And then I heard a third or a second season was coming out, and I was like, hell yeah. So I got it. Or I didn't get it. I watched it, I should say. <laughs> but all in all, it's pretty great. You get to see the characters grow a bit. And like I said, it does get a little more serious. And there's a lot more like story and lore in here as you learn more about, uh, you know, the Demon King, the backstory of how people become Demon King, uh, all the different like what's kind of going on behind the scenes with various characters and all that kind of stuff. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty uh, pretty decent, in my opinion. So, yeah, definitely check it out if uh, you enjoyed the first season. Um, if you've not seen it and you would like to watch it, definitely start at the first season. Uh, it's a little more kind of like random and comedy in the first season until it gets near the end. But then as you go to the second season, it gets a little more serious, and Irma definitely gets more confident and is less of like a uh, scaredy baby, which is uh, pretty good, in my opinion. So, But yeah, so check that out. I'm going to talk about some spoilers now, so I'm going to give you all a little bit to uh, stop and uh, whatnot. So go ahead and mute, pause, close the video, whatever you want to do. All right, <clears throat> your time's up, because now I'm going to talk about some spoilers. So, if you've seen the show, or if you're watching the show or whatnot, you'll know that uh, Irma has a relationship with the student council president, and oh boy, does it go like through the roof in this one. They end up going on a date, and she gets real like cute and shit. Oh my god, it's so good. Like, when uh, what, what is her name? It's like Amelie, I think. Uh, she is great. Like, anytime that she goes like from you know, her normal self to, like, the, the cute dare-ness uh, of it. When Irma's around, it, it's beautiful. I love to enjoy that. Um, I definitely hope in the third season they get even closer, now that they've actually gone on a date. I'm also curious to see how his relationship goes with uh, the other... Oh, my God. The other girl. Uh, 
Clara. Clara, her name. Yeah, how that goes. Because it's like Clara likes him, but they're also just kind of friends. And like, there's no like real romantic stuff. But it's like hinted at that Clara loves him as well. Since she went through, uh, I think it was in the first season, she went through like the succubus training and stuff like that uh, to like try and win him over and whatnot. And then uh, they ended up having Clara, uh, Amelie, and the, uh, it was the idol girl, whose name I forget, and then the succubus girl. Uh, they all had kind of like a chat about Irma in their club room for some reason, <laughs> having girls talk, which is kind of cool. Uh, anyway, but the main thing of this series was the, like, uh, I guess the battle at the water park or the amusement park. I have a little water park. There might have been water at some places. I don't know. Anyway, the main thing was the battle at this um, amusement park. And that was really great, watching like all the, the, the classes as they split up into three, fight these giant three magical beasts. And then Irma just like use the ring to like devour the, the, the one that combined out of the three of them. That was pretty great. And, oh my God, it nearly slipped my mind at the beginning where... Uh, Irma's evil cycle occurs because the ring, I think it did something like it like needed to expel energy or something like that. I don't know. It turned him evil. And it was just so great when he was like in his evil cycle. Like if they could do an entire series of him like that, it would be so much more interesting and I would love it. But that's not who Irma is. He's a kind of lovable goofball. And uh, that's just, you know, how the story goes. But yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking now. Don't want to go too long with me just kind of rambling about, you know, the show was good and all that. Uh, but definitely check it out if you uh, if it seems up your alley. I'll definitely be looking for the third season. I'll try to say second season since that's what we're talking about. But the third season I'll be looking forward to when it comes out. I'm gonna watch it. So look forward to that. Until next time, everyone. I think the next review will be next week because we're getting to the 11 and 12 uh, episode marks in a lot of the series, which means we're going to be seeing a lot of series wrapping up here next week or the week after. So uh, look out for those. Until then, I'll catch y'all later. Bye for now.